so this is how the intercooler came with the car spray paint all over it over spray from I'm guessing the previous car being painted I do not know why they didn't mask that off that is ugly horrible so today we will be repainting the intercooler and making it look semi new again not entirely because of this hit right here which is bad but other than that it's gonna look new this one has black paint on it for some reason so we will be respraying those so first we gotta sand it down I already went ahead and took it off the vehicle so let's get this started I ended up installing this rear diffuser over the week this diffuser I got from a buddy of mine I'm not exactly sure what kind of car it came off of but I did have to do some modifications and I'm covering this right now in the meantime while I get my rubber trim in order for me to put some on the edge so it doesn't scratch up the bumper and I had to do some modifications so I had to cut it here cut the same outline to flow with the vehicle I also had a cut out on the inside for the exhaust and I definitely need, definitely need to clean that up it looks horrible that side doesn't look bad. This just, this side looks horrible. I need to like clean it up, make it straight. But I had, I was like short on time since this took me about five, six hours to install to get all the measuring and get the diffuser to sit flush with the vehicle. How to keep, um, and I had to make custom brackets too. So I had to like measure and keep cutting them, measure. And then I added two custom brackets from here to the rear bumper support up there. I ended up adding one here up here in the bottom. I ended up adding two back there. You see how the exhaust sits like right underneath the diffuser? I know it sucks, but that's the only, that was like the only way to get that done. That's what happens when you use diffusers that aren't meant for the exact vehicle. And I added ended up adding another two bolts down there somewhere and it's like perfect it's not going anywhere it's like really really sturdy and I ended I ended up buying the brackets I believe I showed you guys already I ended up buying them at Home Depot so yeah now the diffuser is on and now time to sand this and the front intercooler and get it going they were rusted so while we let that dry off we're gonna keep spraying these also check out the windshield wipers I sprayed them uh, satin black so now they look fresh and new. They just look out of place right now because the rest of the car is dirty. I do need to restore this plastic trim, which I'll probably end up heating it up in order to restore it. Also the plastic trim around the headlights. So we'll, we'll be making videos of that shortly. Now both intercoolers are done being painted. This is for the Evo 8 and this is a Gretti for the RX-7. It was dented down here, but I managed to fix that. The dent I showed you guys earlier, I managed to fix that. So it looks a lot better now. And I might actually make a stencil at work and add something on there. I just don't know what yet, but I will do that. So we're gonna let them dry and then put them on the car. All right, now we assembled the Evo and we put the intercooler back on. It is a big difference compared to what it was because it was like all like it was like a dark brown color so it looked like a little old and dirty. 
So we finally put this on and I ended up putting the one for the FD. But sadly I forgot to record it. Also like all these areas right here that have rust, I need to sand that down, get rid of the rust and spray those areas again. So this is gonna have to come off again. Now we'll also do a stencil on the intercooler. I'm not quite sure yet. I might just do the Gretty on there or something else, something custom. But yeah, that is on and it looks amazing. Looks a lot better than having all that red um, overspray on there. So that is it for today's video. We're gonna end it here. We got both of the intercoolers on and they look amazing. They look a lot better than what they did. Um, definitely more parts to restore. Make sure to hit that like, share, comment, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. I will be restoring more parts on the vehicle so there will be plenty more videos to come. Once again, Ed Range, keep on rotating. Peace.